not enough to put a rainbow sticker on your window, right? You have to actually understand what it means to be providing a safe space and taking the steps to do that. This is Tony Harris, co-owner of Action Potential Fitness, located in Edmonton, where they believe fitness is for everybody. But the majority of traditional fitness spaces aren't meeting the needs for all. From my perspective as a non-binary trans masculine human, I personally see the lack of services and safe spaces for people from the queer and trans community. We're also really lacking in the areas of disability. You also don't see a lot of racial diversity in fitness spaces. That's kind of why we do what we do here at Action Potential. Everybody's welcome here. We have gender neutral washrooms. Their intake forms are quite a bit different than other intake forms. We have a lot more consideration for possibly some medical considerations or physical considerations, accommodations that might be needed for folks. We have people that specialize in different things. So for instance, you have Zita, she's co-owner of Action Potential Fitness, but she's educated in the area of pain, pain management, and chronic illness. We have other trainers like myself that are trans, so I can speak directly to our trans members. We have really big bodies in our gym, all sorts of different size diversity as well. There's no judgment, there's no shame. We're just here to move joyfully. They also offer wellness programs that support psycho-emotional health, like those dealing with PTSD, depression, or anxiety. And they recently launched their latest session of Transformed, a fitness program by trans people for trans people. The interest was overwhelming. There's all kinds of considerations. If you are wearing a binder, there are certain things that are safe and certain things that are not safe. Uh, so our trainers are all really up to speed on that. When we're talking about hormone uh, therapy, gender affirming hormone therapy can change things like your ability to thermoregulate. So we need to be mindful of the temperature of the space. It can have big impacts on your ability to stay properly hydrated. And it can also, especially with trans guys, create a situation where the muscle mass grows a lot faster than the connective tissue can keep up with it. So we have to be really careful that people are not pushing themselves too hard too fast. And then just the general well-being, knowing that a lot of these folks are traumatized and are coming to this place with maybe an exercise aversion or some exercise related trauma from growing up in a body that they really didn't relate to and you know the bullying that can come with that and the feelings of inadequacy. So all of that goes uh, into consideration when we're training folks in the trans uh, population. This program was developed with collaborative education and community. In collaboration with the Pride Centre of Edmonton and Queerflex uh, created an education program for trainers to teach them all of these things and to get them up to speed on, you know, being trauma-informed, training from a trauma-informed lens, knowing the physiological considerations for these folks. Action Potential Fitness has worked diligently to create the safer space for all. However, the feedback has not been all positive. Every time we have a news article go out or we participate in a podcast like this, we get the trolls that come through and, and say some pretty nasty things. In the beginning, it was really quite alarming to see the feedback that we would get from folks that really are not in alignment with what we're doing. If you go into any big box gym space, you know, you, you talk about adult bullying and it might not be as upfront and in your face as when we were teenagers saying really nasty things to each other, but there is thoughts expressed under their breath and, you know, looks and people whispering about you if you appear openly trans or there's something different about you that doesn't fit into that mainstream space. So, I mean, obviously it's, it's always going to happen. Is it going to get better? Maybe not, but we can create safer spaces where people can come and move their bodies and enjoy joyful movement. All of this is a stark reminder that the fitness industry has a responsibility to make diversity and inclusion a top priority and do their part to create safer spaces for all. Education is going to be the key component there. Maybe doing a self audit of your facility and asking yourself like what what do we have displayed on the walls even that might be offensive to somebody or that might make somebody feel excluded from this space. Taking a look at intake forms, taking a look at uh, changing facilities. Do you have the ability or space to be able to make gender neutral spaces available for safe showers and safe changing and you know educating your staff on use of pronouns and you know, intake forms that allow for a preferred name, not just the name on my license and that sort of thing. So really education is, is going to be the thing. Um, hire somebody from your queer community. Don't ask for free labor, but hire somebody from the queer or trans community to walk through, to give an actual eye of the lived experience of somebody that is queer or trans, to tell you as the fitness uh, professional what you need to do better in your space. You've just watched All Things Fitness and Wellness, brought to you by the British Columbia Personal Training Institute. Learn how to gain, train and retain clients 
compliance, visit bcpti.ca. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. We have new podcast episodes weekly featuring industry leaders and influencers. Plus, we're continuing our gym and wellness haven tours throughout the Pacific Northwest. Know of a unique fitness or wellness concept? Let us know in the comments where we should visit next. We're on a mission for everyone to live a life fit and well.